Hey, he's got it together now. All right. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh, back for a second turn. Yes, sir. Yeah, I guess, actually, I actually have two questions. Um, one, uh, like, how long have you been studying acting? You say during high school, like a theory or what? Uh, I actually never studied acting. Oh, really? Yeah, I fell into it very accidentally. But uh, I think what worked for me, especially for anime, was that I was a musician early on. And uh, anime is a very rhythmic thing for me, especially hitting the lip flaps and, and you know, going in the rhythm of the, I don't know if you've ever done recording, but they have like three rhythmic beeps before you start, and you start on the imaginary fourth. And for me, that was a rhythmic thing, and once I got into that rhythm, it just became an automatic thing for me to hit the pauses and stuff. So for me, it was a very organic process, and I actually had to learn how to act as I was doing the shows. So fortunately, I got to be around a lot of other really great actors, and I just stole everything they had. So they paid for the training, and I swiped it. It was perfect. And I, I still do, but I think that's how a lot of actors learn anyway. They learn from each other, you know, no matter how much training they have. Once you get in the studio, everything's thrown out the window and everything becomes a cold read, so no matter how much training you have, you have to be able to think on your feet and go. Uh, well, because I was just wondering about that, because uh, I'm kind of aspiring to be a voice actor too, kind of like part-time or something, so um, I haven't really taken much classes. Yeah. But, I don't know, I've been doing some method acting stuff, but uh, I don't know, any like suggestions or advice you could give? Yeah, I would highly recommend taking classes, first of all, because um, for me, even though I didn't take classes, I've been doing it for almost 20 years, so my school happened. It just took a lot longer than it takes most people. Um, Yuri and Tara actually are coming out with a book now that is a really comprehensive, oh, I think I have their card. Um, it's a very comprehensive guide to voice acting from beginning to end. Yeah, I think I have their card too. Oh, you yeah, have the card? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, check out their book. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them a little plug here because this is an amazing thing they put together. It's called VoiceOver Voice Actor. And they just came up with a uh, website called voiceovervoiceactor.com. And um, it's, it's not just a uh, gratuitous documentary style thing. They actually have some really good information on how to become a voice actor and the whole process of it and how painful the entertainment industry is. And it's, it's a pretty realistic view of what, uh, what it takes to do it. So um, the one piece of advice I would give you is that don't do it for the money. Do it because you love it and because you can't imagine yourself doing anything else. And that would be the only reason I would get into it, because otherwise it would break your heart. You know? So, uh, I mean, there's still times now, even after doing this for almost 20 years, that I'll have down times and I won't be working for a couple months. And it gets really scary. But I love it so much that I'm willing to go through that, you know. And uh, that's where you got to stay. That's where you got to live with it. And um, I'll really just tell you exactly, because you've been talking about, like, Take your forgiveness for God and all that. So I'm, I was just wondering how religious. How religious I am? Yeah. Well, I, that's an interesting question. I was raised Jewish and uh, kind of went through the whole process, bar mitzvah and confirmed and went to the camps and did all that stuff. But I found that uh, I just, I'm more of a spiritualist these days. I, you know, I meditate. I'm, uh, my girlfriend is, is really knowledgeable about crystals even. I mean, all kinds of, anything that's organic pretty much works for me. So I still, uh, consider myself Jewish and I, you know, observe the holidays with my parents and stuff. Uh, but overall, I think, it, you know, I believe that there's a, a bigger source up there and just try to be a decent human being on a daily basis. So, Thank you. Thank you. I got deep, huh? Um, we're just friends here. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all sitting here in our underwear. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I had a few questions. It seemed like they were all answered like, as I came through the line. So I do have one last request. I had a friend who could not be here today. She's also an admiration of She just came out with a book about being a voice actor. And I just wanted to ask you if you could um, say something in the voice of Vincent Valentine for her. Yeah. What, what's her name? Her name is Ellie. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna write. Yeah. Ellie, I was gonna borrow your phone, <laughs> but you didn't show up. <laughs> so come to my house. Here's my address. <laughs> it's well, got it. <laughs> okay. See you then. <laughs> Thank you. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> okay.
Okay, um, two questions. Um, my friend Jason couldn't be here. Could you um, say in line of um, Ichi, um, Onizuka, Ichi Onizuka, like my job is done? I, I don't know how it goes, so I'm going to record it. Jason. My job is done? No, like from Onizuka. From Onizuka, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember his voice yet. <laughs> <laughs> my job is done. Thank you. <laughs> and then, um, a shout out to Seattle as the Wolverine's voice. Seattle, I'm coming for you, Bobs. <laughs> Actually going to Seattle soon too. So. You're gonna go to soccer con? Uh, I don't know if I'm going there for that. When is it? Um, it's April second, April fourth. I requested you. I had a lot of people. Maybe. Maybe. Like that. Stranger things have happened. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be the Cheshire Cat's voice. I like it. Well, first of all, there's a statement and two questions. Okay. So get prepared. I'm first prepared. of all. You know that you're number one in my book because you're the only ones I learned their name for. <laughs> I don't have a name. Um, you're one of my favorite voice actors. You're the only one I remember the name of. You remember, I, I've practically seen everything I've ever seen from you in, sadly. Um, <laughs> yeah, I watched, I watched Wolverine and the X-Men when it first came out and I was screaming like a little girl. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and I have Snake. my two questions. Can I have hug and then can I have autograph? So I can write to all the 13 year old girls that I watch that show with. Yes. Hey. Yes. But you know, we're going to do that stuff after I know. this. After. Okay? That's what I was figuring. But you look for me and I'll look for you, okay? <laughs> I'm hard to miss. I'll have the only one with the Cheshire Cat on their head. Okay, well, I might by then. So. Okay. Thank you so Very much. Cool. I appreciate Thank you so much. <laughs> I remembered my second question. Yay! Right. Yay! <laughs>